Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Taylor Knows here. I just wanted to discuss Olivia Rodrigo. Oh my goodness, she has become a home name over the past, what, couple of months, especially during the pandemic with her number one chart-topping hit, Driver's License. Um, but, you know, before she even became really big and, and really famous to majority of the world during the pandemic, uh, you know, she was on Disney Channel shows, Bizarre Bark. Um, I think she had like an American Girl movie. And she also is on High School Musical, the musical, the series, which you guys can catch on Disney+. Plus. But I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on what I think about Olivia Rodrigo. I just saw her brutal music video, um, and it is just absolutely stunning. You guys should go over to her YouTube account and go check it out. I, I was just flipping through the comments, and I, I just have so much to discuss involving that music video. But I just wanted to kind of talk about her sour album. It came out May of this year. And guys, it hit number one. And I'm just, I'm just so happy for her. You know, she, she turned 18 this year, I believe. And she's really coming into her womanhood. And she is not following the same trajectory as all the other kind of Disney pop stars. She's kind of just making her own way and moving how she wants to move, um, you know, by Olivia Rodrigo, you know, so I just saw her recent music video for Brutal. Brutal is one of my favorite songs out of her Sour album. I have yet to order um, the vinyl, the vinyl <laughs> that just came out. Um, she's been posting it all over her Instagram. I have to order it because I just want it for myself. I've downloaded it all on my Amazon Music, but she has 11 songs on her album, her first EP album called Sour. One of my favorite songs is, of course, Brutal. Um, the second would have to be Traitor. I really, really want her to drop a music video for that because that song is just life. <laughs> it is just life. Um, and I would have to say my third favorite song, which I haven't been getting a lot of traction about it like online. I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about it, but my third best song from her is Hope You're Okay. Um, and I, I really like that song because... You know, sometimes I guess, and of course, I'm not famous at all, but, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, you grow up wherever you grow up and you plant roots and, and you get to know everybody around you. And then I guess once you become this this big person on TV, you go out to L.A. or, or California or Atlanta and you go shoot things, um, but you kind of leave behind essentially some of your family and some of your friends so that song just kind of focuses on like I hope you're okay to all of her or some of her friends that um she kind of left behind so I'm just really really excited about those three brutal traitor and hope you're okay um and I just saw the brutal music video guys it is just so 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 stunning and you know how when you look at a music video the very first thing that you do is just go straight down to the comments um that's exactly what I did so brutal is kind of a song about how Olivia's like hey I'm 17 like I don't know how to drive I don't know how to how to do life I don't know how to be a teenager I don't know how to do certain things and she's telling you know us that people keep telling her hey like these are your golden years. You should really be celebrating all your success and just your life. And she's like, no, there's just so much pressure in the society to be a young, you know, girl transitioning to a woman, especially in front of billions of people. And she's like, you know, hey, it's it's <laughs> it's brutal out here. Like, I don't want to fit into any of anybody's standards. I want to be me. Um and she represents that in her music video so well. Um, in the video, she's like 10 different characters. And she's walking around with a bunch of filters on her face, which I think symbolizes what she has to put on each and every time she goes out. You know, and we all know this, like when you're in the comfort of your own home, you're yourself. But then when you go out into the real world, you know, you kind of have to be something else or you kind of put on a filter and you have to have this different persona to fit into everyone else's expectations of who you should be. 
right? Um, and, and honestly, I really think that Olivia is doing a great job with kind of just giving us who she really is as Olivia Rodrigo. But I kind of just wanted to read this comment that really just stuck out to me. Uh, it was from Hannah. And she said, for me, I think that uh, the choice of her characters represent being forced to fit society standards and that ballet is something she felt like she needed to do. Um, the live is explaining how she feels. The overuse of filters is how she feels. She needs to look like when she finally does things she wants to do and steps into her own shoes. That's when she's back into the car, but the filters can come back slightly in the ballerina so she can still feel not entirely like herself, but she's still happy. And the honking is people getting annoyed because she is not living up to their expectations. So, you know, if you guys go over and watch the music video, this quote or or this, I guess, dissection of this music video by one of um by one of her fans, I think just hits the nail on the head. You know, this whole music video is her walking around with a bunch of of filters, right? And and I think those just represent society standards of what they're trying to make her be, but not just her, but just anybody in general. But I, I really think she's she's targeting, of course, like the you know the young women who are trying to grow up and 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 fit in wherever they are. But I just love the whole musical concept of it. <laughs> at the very beginning, when she was like a ballerina and she broke her foot, that kind of like scared me at the beginning. But I just think the music video is gorgeous. I honestly think that anything and everything Olivia Rodrigo does is just gorgeous from, from you know, driver's license to deja vu. I mean, just just all of it, you know? So, guys, just make sure you head over to her music uh, channel on YouTube with Olivia Rodrigo. Check out the video.